Welcome fans to 2K Sports Tuesday night presentation of NBA Basketball. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge is our sideline reporter. And also joining us on the sidelines, the league's most valuable player in 2004, Kevin Garnett. And let's go straight over to David Aldridge for a report before the tip-off. Hey, Dave. Well, guys, Chris... Thanks, G.A. And what's scary is Porzingis is only going to get better. That kind of fearlessness will help him in the long run. And, Kevin, there was such a whirlwind around your trade to the Celtics from the Timberwolves. What were your thoughts and emotions at that time? You know what? Being in Minnesota at the time, it was very difficult for me. I didn't necessarily want to leave. I had a goal to bring the city a championship, and I felt like I could do that. Nothing worse than when you have to deal with the reality of change. I'm not the one for change, even though I do know in order to process or progress better, you have to embrace some change. So with the help of my friends from uh, Chauncey Billups, uh, Teron Lou, I sat and I thought through it with those guys who have been through the trade process and talking to me, getting me to understand my eyes. Teams deciding to change it up. Here's Sessions. On the court for the Knicks. We've got Lee. Kyle Quinn out there with DJ. Then there's Ramon Sessions. And it's Wells in at the two. Krills it from outside. Wells has got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. And Jamie Wells, originally drafted by Portland. Solid player out on the wing. Greg, he's always had a spot in the roster with his ability to make plays out on the perimeter. And Wells' ability to make those plays has never been questioned. It's just his focus on the game, the mindset when he plays that has kind of gotten him in a little bit of trouble. But make no mistake, the talent is there. And Kev, you had a voice in where you'd go from Minnesota. How did all that play out? I sat with um, you know, my wife and we all you know, kind of went through it and we thought Boston was the best situation. Paul and I had great bones and uh, great history that uh, I don't think the world really knew. Uh, we have been knowing each other since 14, 15. I played with each other younger and I had a chance to play with Cole, but uh, that really didn't go through. A lot of people don't know I had a chance to play with Steve Nash also, but I wanted to play with Stoudemire and that wasn't the case. So I decided to go uh, to Boston. Ray and I knew each other from South Carolina. And then, um, you know, the Rondo piece was a huge piece for me. Mm -hmm. You know, I had followed the youngster you know, in uh, his first year and just watched his growth a little bit, even though I was in the Western Conference. And then when I got to Boston, I knew they had good pieces like Kendrick Perkins and Tony Allen. I wasn't aware of the big baby piece yet. And then um, I wasn't sure on the, uh, the posy part. And then all of a sudden, it started to come together, Eddie House. And then all of this. And, um, great names. I mean, great just, names. Just all alphas. Yeah, all guys yeah. to stand up and speak for themselves and be our tickling and you know all different facets and you know a very similar facets of who we are personality wise and a lot of people just don't know that that team there I don't think a, another coach could have coached that team other than Doc Rivers. And it's in there and that's now nine points for Kyrie Irving. How about he has yet to miss 4-4 to start. And Sessions kicks to O'Quinn. Sessions dishes to DJ. Pass to Sessions. And stolen by Tatum. And so it's the New York Knicks holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. They're feeling very confident shooting the ball with great efficiency and dictating the pace. Back right. Now the second quarter getting ready to start up. And what stands out to you from New York in this one? Well, already in the first period, they found ways to get this offense ramped up. Well, I think one key is they've controlled the tempo so far. And I know it's early, but it helps to have this kind of lead. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. Setting the floor for the Knicks. They've got Noah. EJ out there with Lee. Then there's Wells. And it's Sessions in at the point guard position. Kevin, you accomplished everything individually as a teammate. Anything that you wish you would have done, any player that you wish you would have played with, any uh, regret in that form that, that lingers with you in return? Mm, no, nothing lingers. Obviously, um, you know, you sit back and think about, I would love to play with Cole for a year or 
you know, got to, you know, team, at least play in the U.S. You had a chance to, wasn't, wasn't yeah. there like a rumor one yeah, time? Yeah, it was, it was, it was. Going to the Lakers? Well, my connection with Paul was, little, was just the opportunity when I waited. Yeah. It was, it's what it was, but, um, you know, Cole, you wouldn't have traded the Paul Pierce thing for anything? No, I wouldn't have, because Paul and I are true brothers. The connection, uh, and then the team, he, Ray, you know, my, my connection with uh, Doe and, and then Doc and all that. So I, I wouldn't have given that up for anything. But if I could have played with one person, probably would have been cold. Summertime, I say USA because that's when you get to play with each other and all that. And you get to kind of beat up on everybody else and be USA or whatever. So that, that would have been super fun. But it's all good. Shout to Mama. You know what it is. Uh, but I have no regrets, man. I left everything on the floor. I enjoy watching the game more than ever now, though. I'm not even going to front. I enjoy having my popcorn, my little ritual, my boy. And, and we sit back yeah. and watch the game. We're loving the game. Yeah. Moment here now for an injury report. Right now he's saying it might be a severely sprained ankle, which is something every player hates to hear. A really discouraging development for this team at such an early point in the season. We'll see how they respond, Kevin. All right, David, thanks for checking in and letting us know how he's doing. And let's just hope that he doesn't have any setbacks during his recovery. Melo Anthony getting it done for the New York Knicks. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Carmelo looked like the offense was really... Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break. Or third. Welcome back, everybody. Third quarter just about to get going here in what has been so far a runaway game. Carmelo Anthony really has his fingerprints all over this one. And they haven't needed a lot of shots to get their points. Just tremendous efficiency here in the first half. I think you can look to specifically the patience and the shot creation. Really solid effort. Smart is out there with Irving. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. Smart with the ball. He's got eight. There's a good screen. Outside Irving. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. Yeah, Irving is so versatile as a scorer. Outstanding free throw shooter, too. For Boston, they have scored six points from their eight attempts at the line so far. That free throw good from Kyrie Irving. That one falls, so he hits both of them. New York leading by 15. Passes it to Persingas. Let's it fly. And again, it's the Knicks missing. Yeah, bad shot there. Trust is lacking. You, you got to be willing to make the extra pass. I'm not sure why he doesn't continue to move the basketball. Would have served that team much better. And the whistle blows, so a chance here for a three-point play. Boy, that was a much-needed bucket in the second half. They're now one for five. Morris has checked in for Aaron Baines. The Celtics have made their free throws at a pretty good clip. They've hit 8 of 10. And a season ago at the charity strike, this is a group that shot an impressive 81%. Hernan Gomez passes to Hardaway. The feed to DJ. Clock at four on the wing Hardaway. Over Smart. Misses off the left iron. Not how they hope to start the second half. Missing four of their first five here. In the corner. Tatum with it. They set the screen. Over DJ. It's deflected. I'll tell you, defense is about position and anticipation. And DJ fantastic at both. Wow, this defense is blanking him down the stretch. And that's certainly hurting his team's chances. Hardaway with it. Now guarded by Smart. DJ sets the screen for Hardaway. Off with the layup. I'm a fan of anybody who defends that way. I mean, they weren't about to open the door and just allow him to cruise in for a layup. Now 
now. Here's Smart. Guarded by Hardaway. Nobody near Irving. They get it back. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. Yeah, you got it. And so it's Boston sweeping by with the win. What a show they put out here at home tonight. I mean, these are those games that feel... Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. So long and good night, everyone.